Hi, this is Justin from Jar Productions. In this video, I want to show you some quick differences between Publish Online and N5. So here I have a document that I've exported with Publish Online, and in a moment I'll show it to you in N5. This is the cover of the document. It has an InDesign table of contents, but none of these items are clickable. You can see at the bottom I have this interface that shows up when I move my mouse. This is unchanging. It's helpful. Uh, I've got thumbnails so I can change pages that way. Um, the scrolling frames extension uh, works in here. This is an added extension that we offer free from a jar. Uh, the video works but it doesn't have the proper thumbnail so that's a little bit odd. And the animation works interactivity works, so those things we created in InDesign uh, work and publish online. This has a multi-state object with buttons, that works. This has uh, 3D flip cards in N5, you won't see those in publish online. This has, um, this should be three different slideshows playing, you see the animation but not the slideshows. And uh, pop-up windows, of course those are nicely supported. And this is an image sequence that should be draggable. That doesn't work in Publish Online because it is an in five specific feature. One thing I want to point out is that this navigation is completely unchanging. This appears in every Publish Online document. You can't get rid of these items. You can't hide them. You can't brand them in any way. It always appears on this InDesign Adobe URL. You can't change that, you can't host it on your own server, you can't embed it, but these files are essentially locked away on an Adobe server. Now let's compare that to the N5 export. Because N5 exported these files to my local hard drive, I can take these and upload them to any web server, I can package them, take them with me anywhere, I own the files. And the table of contents actually is clickable with N5. You can see there's back and next navigation, but you can easily turn that off with N5. There's no menu down here at the bottom because I, I chose to leave that off. But let me show you a different project that has a custom menu at the bottom. So this is a project by designer Ren Reed, and it's got a custom logo in it, custom color here. It's got those similar publish online options that she chose to add, and so they appear here. So you can see there's a lot more branding that you can do with N5. You can, of course, changes background color as well versus publish online. Back to the N5 document, uh, you can see the, the poster image for the movie actually appears and the movie plays. And I've actually got it set to hide the user interface. Uh, so that's a different feature. You can control the skins with N5. You can't do that with publish online. Of course, we have our animation and our button. More animation. Uh, object states buttons and animation connected with those work. And then here's the 3D flip card. And then there's a slideshow. You can see the slideshow is actually playing now in addition to the original animation. Of course the pop-ups. Here's a swipeable image sequence. So one other thing you'll notice with N5 is in this project you can have variable page sizes. So that's something different. Your content can look a lot of different ways. So it could look like a website. For example, this has a parallax image and a fixed menu at, top, at the top. And you can also have a flipbook output from N5. One huge difference is that N5 is actually responsive. So this has two layouts in it. If I shrink it down, you can see there is the portrait layout. This Website has a phone layout, so there's the phone layout and there's the desktop layout. And in InDesign, you can find a ton of those features in the N5 menu once you've installed N5. To see more of the comparison between N5 and Publish Online, take a look at the article in our blog. Thanks so much for watching.